Yeah, this is a major undertaking after that weather event. That was in June of 2020. A storm hit the Sandusky Theater and devastated this historic structure. Now, more than three years later, it's in the middle of a $35 million renovation. It's the same height that it was before. From the stage house. But we did expand 20 feet to the west. To the basement. We have four dressing rooms going in along this wall. To the auditorium. Kind of a whirlwind. It's, it's something different every day. The Sandusky State Theater is getting a top to bottom makeover to restore it to its former glory and improve it for the future. So in the auditorium, we have the artisans from Evergreen Studios touching every inch of plaster throughout the entire place. Chris Parthamore is the executive director of the nonprofit. His world changed Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. That's when a blast of wind ripped apart the theater that stood here since 1928. The damage was really catastrophic, actually. Uh, the entire stage house was destroyed, and then uh, it took about half the auditorium right up to that chandelier. After planning sessions, public input meetings, and plenty of fundraising, the project to restore the theater broke ground in April of last year. Theaters are so complicated. There's acoustics and sight lines and lighting and all the things that you don't have in just a regular building. Now the plan calls for some modern amenities, such as more concessions, restrooms, an elevator, and an additional smaller venue. It's all an effort to appeal to modern audiences to keep the Sandusky State Theater going for another 100 years. Right now there is no exact completion date, but the executive director says he hopes to have more of a definitive timeline in about a year. Until then, if you'd like to make a donation, you can visit Sandusky State's website. There's a link on our website, 13abc.com. In Sandusky, Tony Geftis, 13 Action News.